Welcome to this episode of On Finding Peace, brought to you by Life's Journey Life Coaching. Our host, Chris Shea, is a counselor, nationally recognized speaker, and author on topics of guiding us to finding peace in our daily lives. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com. And welcome, everyone, to another episode of On Finding Peace. I'm your host, Chris Shea, and this podcast is focused on practical tips and techniques that you can use in life to find your inner peace and happiness. If you have any suggestions for topics, please let me know through my social media, this site, or email. All of my contact information is found at my website, lifesjourneyblog.com. The topic for this episode is my tips for sleeping peacefully. I'll talk about the life lessons that I've learned and how I now fall asleep quickly and sleep soundly. Based on my experience, there are two main reasons that people have trouble sleeping. Either because you're excited about something upcoming, or, in the opposite, you're anxious about something upcoming. I can still vividly remember that night before we as a family were leaving for Washington, D.C. for the first time. I was only a child at the time, maybe around 10 years old or so, and the thought of traveling all the way to where the president lives was almost overwhelming. I tossed and turned in bed, walked around my room, looked out my window into the dark, and then before I knew it, I looked out my window to see the sun rising above the horizon. I finally fell asleep in the car during the over eight-hour drive to D.C. The focus of this podcast is not on your inability to sleep because you're excited, but your inability to sleep because of anxiety. Generally speaking, most of us don't get enough sleep on a regular basis. What is the amount of sleep that we need? That tends to vary by person, but if you feel tired throughout the day, or you are dozing during the day, then odds are you're not getting enough sleep. Personally, I suffered for many years on Sunday nights trying to get sleep. I actually dreaded Sunday nights, because as soon as I would lie down in bed for the night, the worries and stress of the upcoming week flooded into my thoughts. I had not yet found the peace of living mindfully, and so I allowed the thoughts of the future to take over, believing the worst of what could happen Monday morning when I got into work. Note that I wasn't worried about what was going to happen, but what I imagined would happen. These imaginary thoughts brought with them a sense of a loss of control, since they're future thoughts, not present thoughts. Therefore, I would toss and turn, worrying about what had to be done, what I didn't do, what I forgot to do. But most importantly, I would toss and turn over the knowledge of what I didn't know that I didn't know. In the last few years, as I've been working on living mindfully, living in the present, I've learned some things which have helped me to no longer dread Sunday nights. I don't have a nighttime ritual, so to speak, but I have figured out a few things that have helped me to sleep peacefully, especially on Sunday nights. Here are some of the tips that I use. Number one, prior to going to bed, make a list of the projects and the tasks that you need to do the next day. Make sure the list is no longer than four items and that each item is doable in the course of the day. Number two, make a separate list of the things you will not have time to do in the next day. Next to each of those items, place a date when you will begin to work on them. Number three, write down a specific time during the next day when you will spend at least 10 minutes in quiet reflection and meditation. It could be a time for a walk or sitting in your office in quiet. But the time needs to be undisturbed and respected by you 
as important and necessary. Number four, when you do lay down to sleep, keep your room quiet and as dark as possible. Using white noise, there's a lot of free and paid apps uh, that will give you white noise. Personally, I use nature uh, noises. Keeping the TV on or your phone screen on inhibits our ability to sleep soundly. Number five, lay down in a comfortable position. Take a deep breath, clear your mind, and focus only on your breathing. Don't try to control your breathing. Just focus on your breathing. Notice the breaths you take in and the breaths that you exhale. Number six, if intrusive thoughts do enter your mind, consciously remind yourself of your lists, telling yourself that you have taken care of tomorrow and that your present task is to sleep. Number seven, return your thoughts to the focus on your breathing. And finally, number eight. For me personally, when I lay in bed to sleep for the night, I start off by laying on my back with my left hand placed gently over my heart and my right hand placed gently over my stomach, feeling my breaths and my heartbeats. These eight tips seem to work for me. But take time to find what works for you. And when you do find it, stick with it. Because over time, with consistency, you'll find yourself sleeping quickly and even soundly. I would like to hear from you and your experiences on this topic. Please leave a comment on this site or go to my website for all my social media links. I hope you found this episode helpful, and if so, spread the word by sharing with and telling your friends about this podcast. Thank you all for listening, and have a very mindful day. Thank you for listening to this episode with Chris Shea. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com.